guys, so I'm back from picking up Jesse from school and from the food shop. I popped to the shop. I was going to film inside there, but the lady inside there I know quite well and it would just be kind of, um... Yeah, I'm headed and I'm back from school. <laughs> the lady inside, yeah, the shop I know quite well, so it would just be kind of embarrassing because she doesn't know that I, like, have a YouTube channel and stuff like that and I just wouldn't want her to go and watch. A lot of people that I know don't know I have a YouTube channel because I don't like them <laughs> watching my videos and, like, knowing all my personal stuff that you guys know. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I want to cook with you guys because I thought that would be a fun thing to do today on today's vlog. So, yeah, anyway, I, I went and got some... Plantain. Plantain. Um, it's not ripe enough yet though, it still feels quite hard. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what plant plantain is, basically it's you cut it up and you fry it and it's really sweet and I freaking love it. And if you do know I what plantain... plantain... I have plantain crisp just now. Yeah, Jessie had plantain oh. crisp just now. Um, yeah, but if you do know what plantain is, weird fact, I like to eat my plantain with ketchup. I don't know if that's weird, but... Well, it is weird, because everyone thinks it's weird, but that's what I like to do anyway. And I got some, um curry powder and some dried thyme and I was going to have it with plain rice but then I thought, oh, I don't know, I was just in the mood for nasi goreng and uh, nasi goreng is like a Malaysian food so this meal is going to be like a proper mix up so I literally just bought the um, paste from the Asian food shop um, so I'm just going to literally add the paste in with the rice um, but I'm not actually going to put like the fish or the peas or anything it's literally just going to be the paste so just so they taste I don't know, I just wanted, yeah, I just felt like nasi goreng, but I also felt like Nigerian stew as well, so we're just going to have both. But yeah, I'm going to work out a way to set this up. I'll work this out and I'll be right back when I have my little cooking show set up. <laughs> Hi guys, so I've worked out my little angles now for filming in the kitchen, but I'm not going to be able to look at you at the same time I'm cooking, so I'm just going to quickly talk and then we're going to like do a time lapse of the cooking because this is the only way I can see it working out. Um, but yeah, I've got my cooking jumper on. I always put this jumper on when I like to cook, so this is my cooking jumper. It is literally a jumper that I've had for years. It's just a load of nonsense, but it's comfortable, so I like to be comfortable. So let's roll our sleeves up and get started. So basically, I'm cooking a Nigerian red stew chicken, which is basically chicken in like a tomato-based sauce, and it's a bit spicy because I like to spice things up a bit. I'm making nasi goreng rice to go with it because I'm mixed. My son's mix, it's all just a big mix, so why don't we mix the food? So, and it ta they taste really good together, guys, so, yeah. But I thought, I'd, guys, I'll show you my pride and joy, which is my seasoning cupboard here. So, at the front, we have all the basic stuff like garlic and paprika and cumin and sesame seeds. And then, as we go a bit more further back, we have our little African row here. So I've got my Maggie cubes and my Knox cubes. And then if we go even further back, I have all my all-purpose seasoning and all of that malarkey. Um, what else do I have? And then I, yeah, I'm just, I'm very proud of my seasoning cupboard, guys. It took a very long time for me to build up this arrangement of seasoning that I have. Um, I'm a, I'm a seasoning queen. Okay, um, the curry powder that I get is really specific for the red stew because it's different from my normal Asian curry powder that I usually use um, and this is by Lion. Um, I cannot tell you why it's different but it's just different, okay? It's just different, okay? It's different. Um, and then I have two onions. This is tin tomato puree and also I have chopped tomatoes and then I have two Knox chicken cubes and what else? Oh yeah, and the chicken. The chicken's here. I, you'll see the chicken in a second. Like it's just drumsticks, some peppers. Um, but I keep them in the freezer because they defrost really quickly. Because I cut them up and then I put them in, and they've literally defrosted within as soon as I put them in the pan. Um, but I have a bag, a freezer bag, but I'm not going to use all of them because I ain't trying to lose my tongue and oil as well. So I have two different types of oil that I like to use to make this. Sometimes I'll use palm oil, but I just find it, it, I find that it smokes really easily, so I do it a different way, and I use just sunflower oil because it's just much more easier for me to cook with, but I do love palm oil. Yeah, anyway, I want to cook, so let's just cook, shall we? So I don't have a food processor, but I have this, <laughs> which works just as good. Um, so let me put my thing together. 
Um, yeah, so it's just basically got blades in it, and then when you spin it, you know, you know the drill. Right, so this is four like I this is four hundred grams, but I don't use that much because otherwise it ends up being too sour, and there's no way to like cook the sour taste out. So I get a bowl, and I take about one quarter. So like, yeah, basically that's like a hundred grams, isn't it? I take out like a hundred grams of the tomato paste, and I put it in the bowl on its own. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to add literally the tiniest bit of water to this because as you can see it's really thick. And I'm just going to mix that in. This is literally just to thin it out. So as you can see the paste is much more thinner now. And I'm just going to put that to the side. So next I'm going to take... Okay, you guys are going to think that I'm so extra, and I am, but the, the ta tin tomatoes, I'm literally gonna put them in a pot and I'm just gonna heat them up a bit so it just not to it boils but just about boils because then it gets rid of the excess water okay so I've got it boiling on low heat there while we cut up the onions Bish, I can't do this how do people have cooking channels on YouTube this is headache this is a proper headache but anyway I'm gonna cut up the onions and all of that I think I'm gonna speed the rest of it up now because otherwise we'll be here forever finally finally finished my stew um, and then I realized that I'm using my rice cooker pot to make the stew so I can't even make the rice and I haven't got another pot to put everything in because my pot I've left at my friend's house so I'm gonna have some microwave rice with it um, but all the only other thing I did off camera was I pulled out all the oil that's it um, but yeah I'm gonna eat my dinner now because I'm so hungry so I've literally finished cooking I'm so tired now I didn't even fry my plantain I'm literally just look this can you see that's all i'm gonna have for now because i can't be bothered and i'm gonna watch some tv and then have a bath and go to bed because that is what i do best <laughs> but yeah i'll catch you a bit later on hey, hey, have your